<laughs> We're in Fort William, the World Cup's coming up. You know what else is coming? <laughs> oh, that's that show. That's that show. Yes, it. I wasn't even in time. <laughs> Yes, welcome to the Dirt Shed Show with Chain Reaction Cycles, where we have travelled out of the shed for once to oh, Fort yeah. William. We've... Boys, what do you think of this? It's this time of year again, Mike. Oh, so oh, love good. It. It's it time great. for the midges. That's... I've not seen a midget yet, Blake. You've seen a midget? I mean, well, okay, <laughs> yeah. one midget, but no midgies. Um, and uh, the track's looking great. There's loads of riders here. Actually, yeah. there's a midgie. Um, but look, first, let's get into the news, what's happening in the mountain biking, and then we're going to take a bit more of a look at Fort William. So, um, what about this? Sam Hill's riding on a Lyric 4, Ooh. contestant out. What do you think of that, lads? Cool. I like it. Yeah, it's yeah. red, have it looks ever, faster. Have you ridden that shark yet, Neil? I have not. No? No, what can we expect? A good suspension for mine. <laughs> <laughs> um, I right, um, 50 to 1 guys have been riding oh, our local yes. park. They are. Windhill uh, Wind Park. Hill. Mm -hmm. um, Blake, you've been there a lot. What can they expect? Oh, a hell of a lot. A hell of oh, a lot. Oh, they're going to be doing some crazy gaps, some crazy jumps, some yeah. crazy yeah. different stunts, jibbing everywhere. Yeah, I'm looking to see what I'm I like. I like seeing what Josh Lewis does there. Yeah. Because yeah. Let's well, find something different. Last time Josh was there, didn't yeah. he? He did something to his ankle. He dislocated his ankle or something. Yeah. Horrendous got taken off in a helicopter. Yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. god. Did you see this video of Sam Hockenhall absolutely sending it on the step up? Oh, oh Jesus. wow, going to, yeah. the, to the moon on it. Yeah. Yes, I did see that sideways. Very, very so cool. Very nice. Very, very cool. Um, also, cool game of bike between Steve P, oh, Brendan yes. Fairclough, yes. Um, Chris Kyle. Oh, Chris Kyle. Uh, yeah, Chris Kyle was in there. Uh, yeah, wow. and Josh Lewis, of course. I oh. mean, um, that game of bike. It was organised by Leighton Vans. They're all sponsored by that. So um, they also support Danny McCaskill. Yes. So they true. were lucky ones. Yeah, because they, they, yeah, they, um, they yeah. wiped the floor with yeah. them. Yeah, uh, Leighton Vans do a lot of support for mountain biking, a little bit like Van Works, who support n none just, other than myself. Nice. So I want to make sure I leave for their name. Yeah, yeah. Leighton mm -hmm. are getting a punch. Mm. Um, yeah, so lots going on, but obviously this week's all about World Cup downhill at Fort William. So let's take a look at what these guys found in the pits. So here we are in the pits and I'm having a look around, seeing what I can spot, what looks extra cool. And I'm going to start here with an absolute banger. Look at that, G Athens Trek, absolutely amazing. In this kind of cherry gray camo looks super cool. I do like a bling paint job on a downhill bike and this one looks amazing. I saw Rachel Atherton's bike earlier on. It's got dragonfly wings on it. It's in that beautiful blue she's becoming famous for. Looks very cool. Let's see what else we can find. Look at this, YT Pits. Is that gonna be the winning bike this weekend? Who knows? Flat diet defender there, look. Lovely bit of tech. Squishy on the top, hard on the sides. Stop those punctures. No mechanicals from Gwyn, I don't think. Could be winning. Okay, I've scored. I found the brand new V10. And not only that, I found the man, Nick Anderson, who actually designed it. Nick, thank you for your time. No You're a busy man, but talk us through what's different to this new V10 to the old one. Um, well, last year they raced on a, a bike that was also a 29er, but it was the old 27.5 front triangle with a carbon swing arm and some links that were really just like tooled up to allow us to experiment and figure out what would be required to make a, a 29 inch downhill bike work well. Right. And then this is is getting really close to what's going to be the production bike that will sell. So it's a, a production front triangle and swing arm. Uh, it has prototype links and 3D printed bumpers and a few other bits. And so we showed up a week early to this race just to to play around with some shock rates and BB heights and we're just making a few adjustments but it's it's getting pretty close to to the thing that we'll wind up selling and what these guys will race on. Well it's, it's a beautiful looking bike um, I was just comparing it sort of alongside last year's old bike I think that's Steve Pete's 29 behind me um, when you sat down and you're drawing like the new V10 an iconic downhill bike um, what do you love about it? What's the bit that you're like, yeah, man, I nailed that. Uh, you know, I, I think like there's, it's just a sum of, a sum of a lot of small refinements. And I think it's, it's hard to come up with any one thing that's like, yeah, that's the thing. Um, but it's, it's changes to reach BB height. We've done an enormous amount of rock, um, work with suspension and shock rates over the last year. Um, Fox has helped us out with that, but it's, it's last year. 
The last two years, almost every race, the guys have been on different sets of links and we're playing around with different amounts of progression. And um, yeah, and just trying to just, it, it really is like we're at a point where um, there's so many good bikes and the industry's evolved to a point where it's really a, a, sum, of, a sum of small refinements. And, and it's when you get them all right, that's the thing that, that overall makes the complete package. Well, it's a beautiful looking thing. Um, I wish you guys the best of luck this weekend. Beer. But guys, what about oh, the cool. Cross Country World Cup Nova Masto? Oh, yeah, I loved, loved it. it. Did loved see some it. highlights. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, women's race was a race in Yolanda Nath. Uh, yes. Anna Kalanov yeah. had all race. It yeah, big, into a sprint, didn't it? big old sprint. And um, there was a, it was a weekend of sprints, actually, this event. And it was it really was. cool to see them two battle out. Neff did try and lose at uh, Langford yeah. at the start there, but she couldn't do it. Anna Kalanov, she times her riding so well. And she the nabbed it at the end. end. Actually, do you guys watch the short track? I thought it was amazing. <laughs> it was I cool. couldn't believe how good racing it was. Yeah, yeah. But it's so close. The men's XCO. If you look at the results sheet, yes, Nino should have won, but I think the story there is the two young up and comers, Sam Gaze and Vanderpool, Vanderpool uh, yeah. both DNF'd. However, oh, I, yeah. I personally think yeah, yeah. if they hadn't DNF'd, I reckon they would have been right, right there, I given instead. 100% agree. I think Nino, he beat the boys that were battling with him, but he, he got super lucky. Anton Cooper with... almost outspinned him. Yeah, I mean, really? can you imagine yeah. like Vanderpool and uh, Sam Gaze, both those two riders, these big threats missing out. You know, Nino got yeah. the luck. Yeah. Great yeah. luck in the and I can't Very wait to cool. see the next short track. That is my next highlight of the year. I think watching yeah. that stuff is wow. cool. Yeah. Discuss. Yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah, you do a little job on your own little camera there. I got my own see camera. See you work in the second camera, making me and Neil look like douchebags. I'm, I'm, no, don't look at them. See, so get my brand Don't look at them, look at me. Yes. Right, here we go. Not him. Me, yeah. No, okay. yeah. yeah. Ah. yeah. So guys, this this week I've heard rumours, and I don't know if they're Ooh, true, rumors. but it certainly sets up a good conversation. Is is this the last Fort William <sighs> World Cup? I hope not. No. Well, let me just explain to viewers who don't know. Fort William World Cup has been going forever in uh, in mountain biking terms. It's always been around. It's been a World Cup, but it's also been a national event for the UK since I, I was here in 1994. I mean, this place wow. is legendary, um, and it really has been the birthplace of enthusiasm for mountain biking in this country. It's done big things, and I think it's a big reason, personally, why we've had such great UK down downhill riders because mm. we actually haven't got many downhills <laughs> yeah, um, yeah so place. i wanted to ask you guys what you thought um if this is the last william, fort william world cup for the uk what does that mean and what does a big event like this mean for a country uh, and, the, and the mountain biking sport well it's definitely super positive to get everyone focusing on one event everyone takes their families mm. it definitely inspires a lot of people yeah i reckon i've been raced here 20 times over the years 20 times so, you know well, there's a lot wow. of people that have yeah. been here from the uk yeah. and done the national races and yeah. gone on to race world cup so yeah definitely yeah. positive for the scene mm. yeah yeah i mean i remember being here years and years ago with uh with animal doing shows down the bottom while the race was on watching g and Dan ride and Rachel Atherton was yeah. a little girl just coming along at the races, hanging yeah. out with her dad and her mum and now she's the legend of mountain biking. And I well years. remember beating G and Dan here, actually. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> got that in, Still got that in, whipped yeah. them. The glory whipped days. Them. Yeah. Blake, what about um, Crankworks has uh, been a big event now in New Zealand. Oh, yes. Um, I really feel like we're seeing a rise of talent from New Zealand. You've got Sam Gaze, Anton Cooper. You've got a wealth of downhill riders mm -hmm. and freestyle yeah. riders um, coming from that country. So are, is that good evidence that when a big event goes to a country like that and starts creating a big buzz? Pull, pulls out all those worms, doesn't it? All the talent. Out the worms. Pulls out all the worms. They all come out the surface. I don't know if and Cooper and Gaze would be inspired so much by Crankworks, but definitely yeah. for the whole New Zealand like scene. Like a big event. And yeah. getting people yeah. over yeah. on their bikes, yeah. Sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what a shame if this was the last Fort William World Cup. I'm definitely going to get down in the pits today and ask that question of some important people mm. because I want to see the look on their faces when it dawns on them. Could it be? I really hope not. I love to be wrong sometimes and this is one of them. 
Time to see what you guys have been saying on the channel this week in the comments section down below our videos. Um, we've got a great one here from Shane. Uh, I'd like to get you guys' opinions on this. Okay. Why do Cannondale keep making lefties? They've just brought out the Ocho, which is a yeah. single crown version. Um, he never sees them anywhere, but he's like, talk about persistent. Why do Cannondale keep bashing <laughs> on with this idea? What do you think, Neil? Oh, I sort of agree. However, anyone who's ever ridden them swears that they're a really good suspension fork. Really? Yes. Okay, yes. so, I, so no, I, I can't have any opinion well, on it I've never ridden one. I like this question because I heard you say the other day, I just don't get the left. I don't get it. Yeah. I mean, I love it. I love the idea. Doddy loves it. I love it. I love what it does. Yeah, I, I think it's that. a technical piece of wizardry. Yeah. Um, if you actually look at the internals on a lefty and on any Cannondale fork, um, it's amazing. Like the needle roller bearings are so cool. Yeah. It's just such a different right. way to look at suspension. You get um, single sided you know. swing arm bikes, like yeah. MotoGP bikes, some, well, some of the yeah. bikes. Um, Things like the Specialized, that sort of yeah, nice, yeah. lots of asymmetrical back ends yeah. on bikes, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I liked how you brought the uh, technical word in there. That Although I no asymmetrical, idea. we're talking about existed. putting uh, drivetrains on the side, so that yeah. does make a difference. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I certainly, I mm. think it's a great fork. Long may it continue in my mind. Um, it's unique, I like Shane, it. Shane, why don't you buy one? That. Then you'll see it often. And looking down at a lefty is weird. How'd you line up your handlebars? That would annoy me. Oh, that, that would annoy would, me. That would annoy, that would annoy. Nick Watkins says, Fort William cannot wait. Let it rip, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we've been waiting for. Yippee, yes. but what if it's, what if it's the last one? Rip, R.I.P. Yep. Is there a subliminal message in there? Ooh, Probably Could not. it be? No. no? no? <laughs> I think so. I don't like know. all of us. <laughs> Nick is looking forward to the racing. Eh? He's oh, okay, that's good. That's me. better than R.I.P. for uh, William. Uh, uh, Justin Flynn says, um, unlucky Neil missed out on the vegan cake last week. And he says, <laughs> might as well throw the cake away and <laughs> eat the box. Oh, hang on a hang second. On. <laughs> that's not nice. <laughs> that cake was lovely. Actually, you know what, right, and I can prove it. Phil Willoughby, he's the guy uh, who sent us that cake. Phil. Oh. Martin, we should do this like weddings. It's smart, smart, okay. God, that was romantic. We've got to do it again here. That's smart for Cameron. I Thank you, Phil. It right. was amazing. He says, um, Phil says, I'm so chuffed you got the cake. Um, Blake was right. He's from Seattle, but he ordered that cake from a local baker to <laughs> us and got them to deliver it. Now, that What's is that? dedication What's to the dirt. Support in the local suppliers. Yes. Great. Can you... We'd love it this week, but I just want to let Phil know is that we really love that cake. Yeah. And wow. then after the show, we put it on the side. I put an email around and it was gone in moments. It, it was, was so gone. popular. Um, so you were getting a lot of love in uh, the... GMBN Towers that day. Oh, so I thanks very much. It. Well, you missed out. You, you missed, you you missed out, Neil. You missed out. Gone. Uh, Jonathan Middleton says the perfect body shape, which is what we were talking about last week, um, is knees and arms bent with a Cheshire, Cheshire cat grin on your face. <laughs> I like it. Yes, that's about it. I, like I missed it. this one. I missed that yeah, shape. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so the options last week were what are the best um, body shapes for mountain actually, biking? No, I um, and we uh, offered body up. Shane Blake. We offered up you guys. We offered up you guys as an example. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> um, race banana was uh, Doddy. Um, we had the tiny blueberry, which Neil, I'm sorry to say, is you. <laughs> Tiny little um, man. And then uh, strawberry on a pear was Blake, and the winner was the best shape for mountain biking. Oh, it's embarrassing because it's not true. Is uh, strawberry is. on a pear 60%? <laughs> it is true. Oh man, thanks for getting involved in the comments down below. We're going to get on with the show, but if you want to be in this show next week, that's where you do it. Right. It's time for fails and bails. And Neil, you've raced here, like you've been saying. Uh, yeah. I bet you've crashed here too. I've seen the inside of Fort William Mania a few times. Oh. I've dislocated my finger, knocked myself out. Actually, it's a brutal place to fall off your bike anywhere around here. Uh, hopefully, you don't see anyone do that at the weekend, yeah, but uh, I right. see some more fails and bails. <laughs> Run VT. Oh. 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 Oh.
No, it didn't oh, work. Nearly, work. nearly. I thought nearly. this would bring yeah. you into... In the, yeah. uh, Everyone else got involved. Yeah, got What's wrong with you, We should have had some bagpipes. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> that was a terrible bagpipe. It's a bodge. That is a that bodge. That was a bodge. That's bodge. That's right. Let's carry on with that theme. Um, first one, and this certainly is not a bodge, it's from Andy Kerr. Look this at is that. This amazing. Oh, Look at it. Did, he, did he make this? it? He made That's this. That's a hack. He made it for his friend Rob Cook, um, who was going away at the Alps. Unfortunately, um, Andy couldn't make it because he's got his daughter's birthday wow. to go to. So he made this present to take away with him. Um, I've got the feeling One, two, that they three, like a whiskey and coke out on their four. trips when they're I love mountain that. biking. That so is good. super it's clever, right? Yeah. It's a piece That's of super art. super clever. It's a piece of art. And I feel like the standard for hacks and bodges is not going to increase from this no. point. Pork scratchings, I've just noticed. Brilliant. That's Brilliant. pork scratchings. Uh, they, glasses. they vegan, Martin. Uh, no. <laughs> no, they're not. But Andy, that is quality, that man. Is that is brilliant. quality. That's right up there with the wow. best hacks and bodges we've ever seen. We should um, frame that one. Very inspiring. Um, I, GMBN would love one of those. <laughs> by the way. <laughs> um, Sue Abaru next. Oh my goodness me. Um, yeah, Look at this okay. one, Neil. Hardtailing oh. of full service. We've seen this before. I've seen this before. We've seen this before, but I thought this was a very nice version. I didn't yeah. know Race Face did nice <laughs> suspension. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty cool, isn't it? Right, yeah, next everyone. one. Okay, next up. Oh my god. <laughs> this is crazy. It's from James Wall. He put it on um, the side of his car. Spotted this bodge roof rack when he was out in Rosland, <laughs> Canada. That is a lovely old really Volvo. Really nasty. That's a lovely old Volvo. Oh, you know what? Like, where's the pedals hanging on the roof of the car? Yeah, I mean, it's. I don't even know. It's really crazy. I, I do want to say, a Volvo like that, I'm a big van, a big fan. Big van? Big, big van, van. It's a car. Um, of a Volvo, and that'll go for miles. Um, that'll go around the clock. That's a, a few frequent times. bodge. Is that's that legal? lazy. Is that legal? I don't know. How's he going to get in? Wait well, a minute, he's on, the on the left side. hand side. He's on the other side. Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. And I really feel like we maybe should have done hacks and bodges this week round the other way because yeah. bodge. Andy absolutely that knocked it out of the He killed park. it. I, that. Yeah. Wow. Thanks for sending your hacks and bodges. Please keep them coming. We love seeing your ingenuity in mountain biking. Uh, send them into dirtshed.gmbn.com. Thanks very much. So for the caption contest, Doddy and his lovely new saddle. So we've got some <laughs> yeah. really funny ones here. Grant mm. Henderson says, I don't think I would recommend that saddle. Wood. <laughs> wood. 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 Like it, yeah. As in spelt like wood. The wood. Rhines wood. Ranger Doddy drops a log. <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> that's funny. No. But I think the winner has got to be Tim Garland. Is that a vegan cake someone strapped to my bike? <laughs> What's yeah. that a vegan hate this week? Yeah. That's what's brilliant. going on? Uh, what's, what's going on? It's brilliant. GMBN Camelback Waterwall coming your way. Oh, oh my, that was a good one. I like that vegan one. Yeah. You eat wood. I've got this wood there. <laughs> and I water don't know, I don't eat wood. And there's a little stream. I think you would. Uh, yeah, it would be right, enough, you. enough vegan hate. We're moving on to this week's caption contest photo. Take a look at this from some Fort William Madness of these two. Oh. God, where do the creators find these photos? I don't know. They're so clever. They I are get so it. clever. I didn't get it. There's your photo. Give us your captions and you could win one of those GMBN Camelback water bottles. Best of luck. Uh, got a great viewer edit oh, for you this week. Yeah, it's edits. from Jacques. Um, he's been right. He's 15 years old. He's been riding in New South Wales in Australia. Don't um, know. Bit of, bit of progression over a season, this is. So look at this riding. Wow. Look at him. He's he is pinned. a ripper. Some yeah. great trails as well. Yeah, he's good. Yeah, some great trails. Oh um, no, wow, oh, that's oh. amazing. <laughs> this guy's berms down, isn't he? Oh yeah, like railing it. it. Like it, a little oh. bit of steez just there. Look at the woods. Oh, nice. I love these. Love, love it. Great. Nice, nice. Oh. You've ridden there, Neil? I have. Yeah. Would oh, nice, you good. do that? I don't know, that was easy. Oh. It's almost like you can see him getting better through the season, can't yeah, you? Yeah, you can. Look at those oh. trails. Great edit, Different man. Trails. Great edit. Thanks for sending it in. I absolutely loved that. I loved that. That was awesome. Yeah. Get in the mood for a bit more racing? Yeah, uh, I like that. No, I like do that. you want to get racing on here? I've had enough racing. He's yeah, done enough, done I enough on that. want to race this track. Um, if you would like to get your viewer edit seen like Jack has, he's got it out there. He's now going to be inundated with uh, notifications on his phone. If you'd like that to happen in your life, then send your film of you riding into dirtshed at gmbn.com. We'll take a look and we'll make you a star. I promise. That's not a promise. We can try.
Insta bangers. <laughs> yeah, it's World Cup week and we've got a little bit of a sweepstake going at GMB. Mm -hmm. So we're all putting a tenner in against tenor. the name. Yeah. A tenner. Tenor. Tenor. A tenner, Neil. <gasps> that against the name that we think is a win. That's who we're going to point you to between us three. But there's others involved, all the GMB and crew behind the camera there you can't see. There's three of them. You um, don't want to see. <laughs> And yeah, well, so we're going to put our names in the pot right now. So I'm going to go first, guys. I'm putting my tenner up against a UK win for Laurie Greenland. Good luck. Oh, nice. What do you think of that? I would love, I just, I'm, I'm putting luck, my name Laurie. there because I just want to see that happen. Yeah. A big UK win. I'm going for the same reason why I want to put my money on the person who I want to win, and that's Danny Hart. Oh. oh. Well, I yeah. want to see this guy win again here yeah, like last year. I'm going. Greg Minnar. Greg Minnar. That's a good shot. Yeah, Greg Minnar could win. All right, breaking news, more like breaking my wallet because Greg Minnar has suffered a little bit of an injury. He's done some little bit of fracture to his arm, so he won't be racing, so I've lost my 10 pounds. Damn it. Um, so there's some great follows for Instagram. They may win. You may see them on the podium on their Instagram feeds at the end of this weekend. Who knows? God, I hope Laurie Greenland wins. Whilst we're on it, let's predict a women's winner as well. No money yeah. on this one. No money on this one because I think Rachel Affin's going to walk it. I agree. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. I think, I think yeah. so. Uh, Jack's shaking his head, but we don't care what Jack thinks because he hasn't put his tenner in yet. Um, so he doesn't get to put any, any, any names in the pot. <laughs> Next, we've got our shout That was so mean. <laughs> so mean. <laughs> shout outs. Yes. Right, I've got a cool video. We did speak about it, 50 to 1. They're at a local bike park. They did do a video, so go and check that video out. <laughs> 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 Right, we're announcing 10 lucky winners Ooh. of these Topeak lovely toolkits, the Ratchet Rocket Light NTX. Nice. Brilliant little things, I love them. Mm. So the names are on the screen now. We're posting these worldwide. Lovely 10 winners. Well uh, done for the ratchet. Keep an eye out for an email next week, those winners. Yeah. Well done. Nice well job. Well done. They're good. Ooh, I got one. I got one. Oh. Uh. Okay, time for a bike vault party. We're going to take a look at your bikes and we're going to give away a hundred pounds of a chain reaction cycles voucher. You can go and spend your to a heart's content. Um, with a great prize, um, but you're going to have to have had a very good bike in the mm -hmm, bike vault. And this mm -hmm. week, hot competition. Nice. Ready? So like very hot. Um, it's very bright, so it's hard to see, That's but hot. we're going to do our best. We're going to do our best. It is hot, isn't this it? This is hot. our Sad jerry thing. can man, Andy oh. Kerr. Oh, Andy yes. Kerr. You know what? He has the right bike to match the right thing he's just right made, isn't he? Yes. I love it. I like the van. No, no. That's, that's got to be a super nice, That's isn't it? super nice. Super nice. Super nice. A man of taste. Uh, yeah, Andy. Yeah. Andy's doubled up there. Yes. He's made it into, uh, yes. he's made it into Hacks and Bodges and the bike vault there. Yeah. So well done, Andy. Well done. Very rare. Uh, Brian Ooh. Dennehy in Flagstaff, Arizona. Flagstaff. Do you remember there's that? It's a giant. There's yeah. a woman. A uh, woman nice. down Hiller in the 90s from Flagstaff. Cindy Devine? Possibly. Yes, oh, Cindy right, Devine. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah. that's right. Yeah, okay. what do you think Was about she Devine? Uh, not for me to comment, Blake. Oh. Uh, it's nice. Nice. That's nice. nice. What is it? I think Giant. it's more than nice, lads. You I like that a lot. It's actually really nice. It's a lovely photo. I think I'd... it's super nice. I'd... Well, it's done now. It's a super nice. <laughs> Brian Dennehy. Neil wasn't going to go there no, at all. He wasn't, was he? Right, next up, we have got oh, wow. Fergus Loder. Same Scottish. Fergus. He's got a Scottish uh, flag on his yeah, cheek. Yeah, yeah. Top. It's but Fort there. William Fiend. Santa Cruz. Um, nice. He's a bit far it? from Santa Cruz to be in Scotland, isn't he? Yeah, I, oh, I'd say that's nice. Yeah, it's nice. It's a nice bike. It's Neil? nice. It's Neil? nice. Yeah, it's nice. 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 Okay, next one. Nice one, Fergus. Oh! Mark Carberry. Wow. That's a oh. nice bike. What is that, a Vitus? A oh. Vitus? Yeah. Vitus? Oh, it's bright here. It's hard to see these bikes. It's bright yellow bike. Um, I could see that. Yellow. I would say that's... It's nice. Well, I'm going to only about give it a nice because the, the, the photo's not oh, working for that's my nice. life. That's nice. Uh, Mark, sorry, but it's, uh, it's, it's nice. nice. It's nice. nice. Okay. Oh, Matt look at that. Look at that sun flare up there on that's the top beauty. tube. Uh, put it up. I think I've been up those steps, you know. I think Where is I've that? been there. Yeah, it might what? be in Froome. I'm not is sure. It? Not sure. Mark, that's a it's certainly <laughs> That's super nice, eh? I'm getting the feeling like Mark. I'm getting the feeling Mark's the sun. big. Is yeah, it, it's a big bike. It's like Doddy size. Yeah, it's a Doddy size too big for a human being. It's nice. <laughs> it's nice. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Lovely bit of light nice. in the background. Yeah, I there. love that super nice that bit. Should we super nice that? Super Yeah! Nice. Sorry, oh, Neil. Super nice. What well up, Matt? Oh, oh yeah. wow. Matthew, Look at that guy's house. Oh, no, it's Matthew DeVries. 
Um, um, Sedona. Arizona. Yeah. That is amazing. Lovely Santa Cruz. Oh, go on, Neil. Super like giving it. Yeah. yeah. Go on, super nice. Oh, super, super nice. nice. Red hot. That, well, is. that, that is red hot. I like that one a lot. Next up, oh. Matthew Harrison. That's nice. Good work, Harrison. Nice. You've, that you've looks propped like it up. Chase to me, one of He's, my locals. It's very well lit. That. It's very well lit, but a bit bat lit. But yeah, I like how it's like popping it out. Yeah, it looks I, like you're having I, a nice day. Out here, I think that's I super say. nice for me. Oh, really? On, yeah, on, I Blake, think it's on. super <laughs> nice. Yeah, very nice. Well done, Matthew. Well done. Right oh, next up, nice. Michael Ridson on his Santa Cruz. Oh, what's that, Bronson? Uh, or Go on, Neil. What are you giving it? I think that's nice. That's nice. nice. That's nice. Yeah. Oh, lads. That's I nice. Gonna, I was going to go more. Well, we've had than a lot that. of Santa Cruz. I like the way uh, the graphics and the fork match the frame. Like, yeah. That's always good. It's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Well done. Uh, oh, my goodness. Neil from me. K. Fat Bike no. Trekking Superstar. It's got oh, the pannier rack on the back. Indeed. Full rigid. You can get that jerry can on the back of that. Oh, car. super nice, man. Super nice. That's super it? nice. I mean, that is, that is a banger. That, that is an absolute banger. That could be in with a very good chance of the I would, you know? I would think so. It really could. Oh, look at the flare Nick on that. Nick Holzer in yeah. North Dakota. Bit of flare. Oh, oh, yeah, I like that, it. I think yeah. it's yeah. trans. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. Like that. Um, What's that, a railway in the background or something? That's super nice, isn't it? That's, That's super, super nice. nice. I like super nice. It's soft, yeah. it's dreamy. Super nice. It's dreamy. Uh, oh, oh, we're that's around. around the bike vault. Oh, oh, man. Now we've got to pick one of those bikes, lad. Oh, so man. I think in the running, it's got to be Andy Kerr who doubled up. Yes. It's yep. got to be Andy Kerr. I think the fat bike yes. from Neil K. Yes. Um, and I know Neil really liked the Matthew de Vries in Sedona. Sedona, um, I fancy going to Arizona as well. Yeah. I, I tell you what, lads, I this week, I, 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 think I think it's an obvious win. It is an obvious win. Because Andy Kerr has come up with a great bit of art. Mm -hmm. Some generosity yeah. to his friend as yeah, well. Yeah, some yep. generosity to his friend. And, and he's, he's made it into two parts of the show. He's contributed big time. He has. Nice. Andy Kerr, give us uh, a message. Um, we're going to get it over to you. Pounds. Hundred well pound well voucher. Done. Um, actually, we're just going to send it to you because it, I've just thought it's not actually a physical voucher. It's not. It's not. It's a code because this is online, isn't this it? Is the this future. is the digital world. Yeah. yeah. So well just done. Look out for an email. Well done, Andy. Congratulations. Thanks so much for joining this week. It's been absolutely awesome. Uh, Fort William is looking Ooh. so good. I'm excited. Neil, what Thumbs can we out. expect from the channel this week? Well, I'll be taking a lap of the pits to check out some new bikes you see on Instagram. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So that'll all be coming off in GMBN Tech. I know there's a new Santa Cruz V10 floating around. So Ooh. I'll take a look That's at that. That's exciting. Absolutely. And Blake, any videos we oh. can throw these guys to to keep them involved? Yes, if you've got any bad habits that you do on your bike out on the trail, click this video right here. That'll help you stop doing that. Yeah. Yeah, listen to this guy. Uh, click on the old globe to subscribe and don't forget to give us a thumbs up like before you go. We'll see you next week.